When I was researching content for this video, I searched on YouTube how to create a brand for your business. And literally everything that came up was all talking about the visual side of your brand design. And to be honest, your brand is so much more than just your logo. Like literally your logo is one tiny piece out of this big like 5,000 piece puzzle. And so today I wanna help you understand how to start creating a brand for your business that will actually grow it. I created this Instagram post a couple of months back and I still refer people back to it all the time because it gives you a visual understanding of how each part of you know your brand message, your brand um, experience, your ideal client, your website copy, your marketing, they're all these smaller gears in a bigger piece. And so what we wanna make sure that we're doing is putting all of the right gears into the right places so whenever you're marketing your business and you're cranking that wheel, everything is turning and it's a well-oiled machine. And so today we're going to show you three real good examples of people who are branding their business and doing it really well. And so let's go ahead and get right into that. So I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier. Your brand is compiled of a whole bunch of different pieces. So you have your brand message, your brand voice, your brand experience, your idle client, your website, your website copy, marketing, whether that's on social media, magazine magazine ads, magazine features, whatever you do inside of your business that is attracting potential clients and getting your name out there that is marketing. And so um, today I wanted to dive into three real life examples starting with Felicia Reed. And let's go into her website and social media to get a better idea of how she's doing this really well. Our first real life example of this is Felicia Reed. She is a luxury photographer out of Austin, Texas. Um, and she does branding so well. Like literally this girl is on fire. She's popping up everywhere. So let's go ahead and dive into um, her website and social media and how everything is working together. So the first thing that we want to look at is her brand message. If you go down on her website, we see I've heard all the excuses. I'm not photogenic. I'm not pretty enough. I need to lose X amount of weight. And even if you scroll down to the bottom, which right here too, I just want to point this out real quick. She does have her process and how it works clearly laid out. So that would be part of her brand experience. Now going down, she has that she is a contemporary fashion inspired portrait photographer celebrating you. Now, if we go over to social media, what you're going to see inside of her social media whenever it comes up is her brand message being carried over. So portrait photographer celebrating you. I make you look good in photos. I will ooze confidence and make you feel empowered. And if you go down her uh, posts, if you read through them, they are all talking about this. Um, everything that she's doing marketing wise is backing up that brand message. And now her brand experience, like I said, is also showcased on her website. So you can learn all about the um, experience and what it's like to work with her. But then she also goes into greater detail of what it's like to work with her. She does these um, client reveals and stuff like that on Instagram. So it kind of takes you behind the scenes and adds another layer or element to her brand message brand and brand experience. And then the last, that smaller piece of the puzzle that I was talking about is her um, brand design. So everything you can see is in line on here that everything you know is very cohesive. If we go from her um, website over to her social media, you're seeing that everything stays very consistent, not only with brand design and the logo and the colors and everything, but also what's staying very consistent is her brand voice and brand message. And so Felicia Reed is one of the first people that I always look to um, whenever I'm trying to pull examples of people who are doing branding, building a brand so well. And now our next person that I want to feature of building their brand and doing it really well is Holly Marie of Holly Marie Photography. She's also a past client of ours and her brand completely different from Felicia Reed's. It's fun, it's joy filled, it's bright, um, it's colorful. However, she is killing it whenever it comes to building a brand, um, not only on her website, but also carrying that through with social media. So if we take a look at her website, 
you can see right away, you know, Austin wedding photography for fun, loving couples, you know, based in Austin, committed to celebrating your big day and capturing every joyous unscripted moment. So scrolling through her website, you automatically see we have these details that make it uh, feel down to earth, these handwritten elements. Um, but also you can see that her clientele and who she's trying to bring into her brand is completely different from Felicia Reed. It also is completely different within its brand voice. You can see she's kind of speaking to a younger demographic, like finding life hacks for your wedding planning. Um, but also, and you can see about the experience and what it's like to work with her because your brand experience is also another piece to your brand, how people experience your brand and what it's like to work with you. And so you can see uh, what it's like to work with Holly, what the behind the scenes are and what to expect on her website. Now, taking a look at her social media, once again, you're going to see that her brand is brought over, her brand voice, her brand style, but also going through her content. So you can see that she does um, Instagram posts, she does IGTV live, she does blog posts, um, why you need to have a bridal session. But you can see that her brand on Instagram, and if you read through some of her posts, that it is very in line with what you're seeing on the website. So once again, the same with Felicia, you are seeing consistency across the board with brand design, brand experience, brand voice, and marketing. So another great example of somebody who's doing branding really well that goes far beyond the visual side of things. And then our last example that I want to point out is Katie Wusso. Katie Wusso is a business coach for creatives and a past client of ours. One of the reasons why I absolutely love her brand right off the bat is because whenever you think of business coach, finance coach, finances in general, you think of these muted colors and not a lot of personality. It's not fun. And so right off the bat, we see Katie Wusso breaking that mold. Her brand is really bold, it's straightforward, but she looks approachable and fun and down to earth. And so you see that right away with the website. It breaks the mold and it's different from other competitors in her arena. Also, taking a step forward, you know, we, we want to look at that social media. So once again, you're seeing that consistency brought across the board. So brand colors on point, the social media posts that she is posting, like you see consistency. And if you read through and take a second to, to look at the website and the social media on all three of these examples, you're seeing it brought from the brand voice, the brand message, the brand experience, and also the marketing. Everything is staying very consistent across the board. So at the very end of this video, I'm going to break down the top three takeaways that I want you to take away from this video. So we'll go ahead, we'll get into the first takeaway. The first key takeaway is to make sure that you are staying consistent across the board. If your brand is dark and moody and sultry, like our client Boudoir by Rhea, then make sure that that stays consistent on your website, social media, marketing, print, you know, magazines, features, whatever it is that you're staying consistent across the board because that's going to build a stronger brand. Secondly, we want to craft a brand message that stands out from the competition. Secondly, you want your brand message to be clear and concise so that others can remember it and repeat it and be brand evangelists. And then lastly, you want to make sure that you are crafting a brand message that attracts your ideal client. So I have another video that goes way more in depth about creating a brand message that stands out from the crowd. And so we will go ahead and link to that above and also in the comments below so you can check out that video next. But lastly, the third key takeaway from this is to repeat your brand message over and over and over and over again. If you saw throughout our past three examples of Felicia, Holly, as well as Katie, they are all saying their brand message, not only on their website, but also within their Instagram stories, their Instagram posts, blog posts, like wherever they are showing up, they have that core brand message that they are repeating. Because at the end of the day, repetition sells your brand message. So if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then go ahead and subscribe. If you wanna see more content like this pop up on your YouTube channel, for you. All right. Thanks again. And join me every Tuesday and Thursday for new videos.